What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting guest. His name is AJ. So we will be doing a couples Q&A. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask us any questions that you have and we're here to answer them. Okay, um, what is our love story? What is our love story? Um, Tell them, babe. We met in high school. Uh, we both went to a collegiate program for our 11th and 12th grade. So that's where we met and we where met we in fell school. in love? Yeah, where we fell in love. What does yes <laughs> mean? Is that a question? I don't know. What is you and AJ's MBTI personality unless you guys don't believe in it? So this is a personality quiz that I always make you take. I make him take it like once every few years just to make sure that our personalities are in sync. Is so, that like the INTJ? Thing? Yes. Oh, See, yeah. he knows. Listen, so, when I first took this, I was an ENTJ. I don't remember what the what it, what what they it stand stands for. for. but So E stands for extrovert. He used to be an extrovert in high school and the first part of college. And then he transitioned into an introvert, which is like, like a... Vinny, stop. Like a hardcore introvert. So we are both now INTJs. Well, and we're both... I'm definitely an I. I don't know what my next three are. I do. Okay, I'm an INTJ. Just trust me. You want a girl or a boy? Somebody okay. asked that. Um, well, that assumes I want one child. Eventually, I want three children. I want two boys and one girl in this specific order. Boy, boy girl, boy. Boy, girl, boy. Wait, I thought it was boy, boy, girl. No. Well, two, two older brothers. whatever God blesses us with. Yeah. What's his nationality? I get this question every single day. <laughs> I am Filipino. I'm, I'm sure you guys probably assumed that. Most of you guys yeah. would have probably assumed Most of you guys guessed right. What was the first thing that made you attracted to each other? Mm. Okay, I remember the first day I saw him. Was it my we earrings? Were... No. Okay, I used to wear earrings. We had history class together in 11th grade and it was the first day of school. So you know on the first day when you're scoping out like who's in your class and you want to see... Are there any cute guys? Are there any girls I could be friends with? And you just kind of like get the lay of the land. Well, he was walking in and I remember thinking, huh, he is interesting. Hmm. Obviously it was physical attraction. Okay, so you were like quiet. You were like the quiet girl, but you were the quiet attractive girl that, you know, but you stayed to yourself. You stayed with Lindsay, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's was mysterious. I, I was like, too, yeah, you were mysterious, but at the time I was like too nervous to like, even though I was an extrovert, like, you didn't really associate with a lot of us, so I was too nervous to go up to you. I don't remember who initiated, but I, well, like once we started talking, yeah, it was just uphill from there, downhill, uphill. <laughs> what is AJ's nature like? I would describe him as a super chill, calm, easygoing, steady type of person, and he's not super dramatic. Like he'll bring me down. When I'm being dramatic, he'll set me straight. And when I'm being like over the top, as you guys know I can be, he's the guy who like brings me back down to earth. So he's very like a rock, I would say. I'm not very easily swayed by like- No, he, he does like what he wants to do and he's not influenced by society or social media. He doesn't have any, social, have any media. social media. I think that's what I like about him. But that leads us to the next question um, about what does he think of you pursu pursuing a social media career? So as someone who doesn't <clears throat> have social media, what do you think about me? All positive, really. I mean... I didn't have Instagram before I started my channel. Yeah, you didn't have Instagram. You weren't really a Facebook user even though you had it. She didn't even have a YouTube account, which I thought was odd. No, yeah, I would be that person who never had an account but would watch... YouTube. Yeah. I was like, so why didn't you like that video? And it's like, oh, it's asking me to sign in. And I'd be yeah, like, yeah, I'd never signed in. You don't have an account? <laughs> we were on the same page about social media before I started pursuing a career. So we were both very <laughs> offline, off grid people. Yeah. And then I all of a sudden became passionate about being a creator, not necessarily a consumer. It wasn't necessarily, oh, do I support her specifically pursuing social media it was i was supporting what she was passionate about cuz i realized that you were actually like you were devoting yourself 110% to social to youtube and i was like you know what then yeah i'll 100% support you and i think it's good that i have something that i'm passionate about because otherwise i would just be focused on him which is not healthy 
mm-hmm. which I feel like we've been through seasons of that, especially in college so. where I didn't have something I could focus my energy into. I would just become like a super, you guys know what I'm talking about. I just didn't have anything to focus on. So I would like dive into other people, which leads to codependency and other issues. But um, someone said he's handsome. Thank you very much. Uh, what you. does AJ stand for? Again, we get this question a lot. I think it's funny that he don't tell you what his name is. And you guys can just guess, like Antonio. Yeah, you guys can Alex, continue guessing because I'll probably never disclose Andrew. that. Andrew, like, what do you guys think his name is? Comment down below. What do I look like? <laughs> Was marriage discussed early in the relationship? Uh, pretty early. I, I can't so. remember the first time we talked about it. It was kind of just like no, gradual. No, I remember it was high school. Really? Well, maybe in maybe high maybe, maybe it was jokingly, okay? But I remember talking about getting married and then owning a monkey okay it was maybe it was like half serious half jokes you know we were talking about oh what what do we want in life yeah and i was like you know i would love to adopt child children i would also like to own a monkey for some reason that's like ingrained into my head yeah i I think we both marriage was brought up we both want wanted to be married to somebody at that time like we knew we wanted oh yeah not to each other to someone no i'm saying like that's a belief that we had growing up yeah that marriage is something you do of course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Did you have any fears about marriage? Oh, man. Do you remember me on the wedding day? Oh, my gosh, you guys. I have a clip. I'll see if I can find it. But he was so stressed the day of the wedding. It wasn't cold feet. It was just the fact that... He would be the center of attention. I, was, I would be the center of attention. Which he doesn't like. Which, yeah. I'm, I'm not used to it. And I'm not... Because we I had a big introvert. wedding. Yeah. I, I was like full-blown introvert already. And I was like... <laughs> he had oh. fully transitioned. We had like 200 people at the wedding. It was a lot of um, Romanians from my side. So a lot of people he didn't know. And And a lot of childhood friends that I haven't, that I I just, I was just rekindling with. So it was. Yeah. Um, How did he get into stocks? Where is a good place to start? Tips. Thanks. So Um, how did you start? How did I start? A friend of mine in college introduced me to stocks. And he introduced me to stocks as being a get rich quick kind of scenario. My initial trades were kind of like that because I remember putting money into one stock, a penny stock, and it went up 300%. I was like, oh, this is so easy. I could do this for a living. And then I lost it all. And you were in a situation where you needed money. And oh, you, absolutely. Like getting a job for $10 an hour wasn't going to cut it. Like he was in mm-hmm. the middle of college. He needed <clears throat> like a couple thousand dollars to, I think you had to like pay for something big or like you had to pay for the next for the next semester, for the next like semester or something, or and getting money. a job wasn't gonna cut it. So he was, he was like, and I was working. He, yeah, I was he working was working. At Plato's closet. I was working at the school gym. Yeah, but so like was it working. wasn't enough. And so I remember he was really into it because he saw that little bit of success, and he was like, if I can perfect this skill, mm-hmm. then I can like pay my way through college. So yeah, that's exactly. How it played out. Never trade with real money until you are profitable on a sim trader for at least one to two months. If you guys don't know what sim trading is, sim trading is a feature that many brokerages provide to their clients where you can trade with fake money. So once you do begin trading, start with small amounts and just don't get emotional. Sell when you're happy and don't hold for the holy grail. Don't hold because you're gonna become a millionaire overnight. That's that's unrealistic cut your losses cut your losses that's quickly. something he does really well he cuts his losses he's not he's oh. usually not emotional with his stocks and when he is emotional and he makes a mistake he learns from it and he yeah. tries not to do that mistake again learn from your mistakes because if you don't learn from your mistakes and you continue doing the same mistake over and over you're gonna implode you're going to start getting mad at yourself you're not going to be trading straight there's many times where i have not taken profit i just i watch my profit go from 25% to negative 10% and I'm just like AJ why like you know your rules why didn't you yeah stick to your rules. rules yeah yeah spend a lot of time researching <clears throat> he spends hours a day if I'm on my phone if you guys see me on my phone He's on her always, videos it's yeah. because I'm looking for stocks I'm learning new things learning new indicators 
Really quickly, we wanna to thank today's sponsor, which is Chatbooks. Chatbooks is a yearbook, basically, where you can store all of your most important memories. What I love about Chatbooks is that it links with your Instagram, so all of these pictures are directly from my Instagram. This is when we went to Bangkok. This was in Fifi Islands in Thailand. Oh, yeah, and it just it's so easy to make a book because you just import all your stuff from your Instagram and you can do custom titles like this one. You could see it says Palm Beach 2021. Their easy to use photo app has over 100,000 five star reviews, which is crazy. And you can choose from 32 creative 2021 covers to customize your front. This is us on our engagement photo shoot and I just love this picture and I think it's so cute. It makes a great gift, especially for grandparents who may not have social media and who may not see your Instagram. This is such a good gift. So click the link below in my description, download the app, get 20% off your first chatbooks order site-wide with my code HOLIDAY20, or you can click my QR code on the screen. What is the biggest thing you clash on? We mm -hmm. rarely argue. I think the only time we really clash is when one of us is being disrespectful or not honoring what the other person wants to do. If I just become disrespectful, then yeah, we're gonna clash, but I think it's important that we honor each other and we married each other for a reason and you know, there's no reason to argue. I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not to say that married couples don't argue because they do. Um, but and we, we, and we yeah. do too, of course, but I can't think of anything specific that we just continuously continuously crash or clash yeah. i wake up early and i go to bed early so that's sometimes that's inconvenient because like i'll wake up early and want to do something and he'll be still sleeping because he went to bed later so but i go to bed at like nine eight, nine o'clock so it's i'm a little bit unreasonable too but that would be the biggest because i remember in college that would be an issue <laughs> too because <laughs> he was nocturnal and i wasn't and so we wouldn't see each other Oh, like ever. <laughs> yes, in college, I was nocturnal. It but was... thank the Lord that that is not the case because I was really tough. Yeah. <laughs> How has it been adjusting since AJ started school? I've adjusted pretty well. But um, the first couple of weeks, were you like, this is weird? Oh, definitely. I mean, from, from working eight, nine hours a day to working no hours a day. How <laughs> <laughs> was the transition? Oh. It took some time adjusting to like the new lifestyle. Biggest changes was maybe eating lunch at home, being able to just run an errand. Mm -hmm. That was like, that, it took me a while to adjust to that. Favorite thing about one another and who does Vinny love more? <clears throat> I know the answer to the second question. I'm gonna answer it right now. Vinny likes me more. It's and true. you can't even deny that. It's true. Favorite thing about one another? Everything. Oh. <laughs> no, but if I had to choose one, I'm sh I was thinking about one. Well, I don't include that. I was going to say you're independent. You like that I'm independent? I love that you're independent because like that you... Like that the fact that I work or the fact that okay, yeah. I do my own stuff. The okay? fact, no, not necessarily that you you, you do your own thing and, then, and you stay away from me, but more that if, if, if you want something, you're going to go get it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I don't have to worry about babying you, although I have no problem doing that. Mm -hmm. But I just know that I'm not like, You're not she's not a liability. <laughs> I'm not codependent. You're not like I I can function without you. Yeah. Which gives you peace of mind, right? That's a weird thing to give me peace of mind though because it's like, oh, what if she doesn't need me anymore? Well, then now you know that I'm with you because I want to be with you, not because I That's rely true. on you. I mean, you make you make yeah, exactly. You make your own money, you you do your own thing. If you have to do something, you do it now. But it's it's attractive. Like it's like you're a you're your own woman. You're yeah, okay. We should redo that. <laughs> I never thought about that. You really? It, like, it runs in your family because I feel like men like a more feminine woman who like relies on her man for everything and. I I personally don't or, find that attractive. Or is there only certain areas where you like it that I rely on you? Yeah. But is that are you being honest like that? You yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. that about me? Yes. Okay, just to be clear, none of this has to do with money. It's it's strictly personality. So let's say I stopped making money. Let's say I, I poured my passion into volunteer work. So I wasn't making money, but I was just as passionate. I was just as determined in other areas. You wouldn't have an issue providing. An issue. It would just be... Exactly. As long as yeah. I maintain my personality, which is 
what you fell in love with. Exactly. My favorite thing about him, like I said before, he balances me out. I have a tendency to not be as generous with my money. I'm very controlling. I'm very like anxious as a person, but he has a way of just being super stable and steady. And when I'm like a roller coaster, he's just like this most of the time. And he kind of brings me back to reality. And I feel like that's what works about our relationship is we both balance each other out. Yeah. I also love his his desire to provide. I can see that every day. Like I can see how passionate he is about stocks and whenever, I feel like this is common with women, but when we see our man working, it's just such a, like a turn on because it's like, that's what a man does is he works and he provides and he doesn't care if I spend all of his money, which is like crazy. I never would, but no. the fact that he's so generous with me and with others is my number one. Thing. Can AJ speak or understand Romanian? No. 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 Most I know is maybe Cefac. Cefac. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Were you nervous the first time Rachel cut your hair? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. We were both nervous. Yeah, she was nervous too, but yeah. it was actually pretty good and that's, a, that's probably why she's been cutting my hair. Yeah. It well, is, I kind of cuts... stopped lately because I got a little bit busy, but... Oh yeah. But it's something we do occasionally. <laughs> How do you keep the romance alive? We have day nights. We have day nights. Get out of the house together. Yeah. Even if it's just going to Chipotle or something. Exactly. Like I, I'll try to make sure to to be to like to do little stuff with you. Like if you're doing like I don't know, you're going to Target for some reason. I I want to be with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's I, the little things. It's the little things. Lastly, any advice for a young engaged couple? Probably the number one thing is to keep God in the center of your relationship. And this may sound contrary to the question or to the advice I'm going to give you, but put God before each other. Because when you focus on God, you don't focus on your partner's flaws because when you focus on God, God reminds you just how exactly. flawed you are. You place your burdens on God. You don't want to place your burdens on your partner. Yeah. So if I'm, for example, if I'm super irritated that he slept in, are you irritated? No, because why? Because I prayed about it and I was like, why am I getting irritated? Like, this is so silly. Exactly. I focus on myself. I focus on the good and the positive and I realize that I have flaws too mm -hmm. and it's not fair for me to nitpick his, you know what I mean? So when you focus on God, you focus less on each other's flaws. Yeah. And if you think that I bring her down to earth, God brings her down to earth. God humbles her. Yeah. You know, so it's, mm -hmm. it's very, it's very eye opening. All right, well, that's it for this Q&A. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, follow AJ on, and <laughs> on stocks. Favorite thing? Wait, what are you talking about? We will see you in our next video. In our next video? <laughs> I didn't sign a contract. Uh, I think you did. All right, see so you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my beautiful wife. Um, you made you guys make her happy. Yes, she, you she loves you guys. She loves all her, her subscribers. Bye. Thank you.